Hello, my YouTube friends. It's Karen. It's Sunday, November 10th. And I know that because tomorrow's November 11th, Veterans Day. But it's also a very important day. And I just want to share that with you. My daughter-in-law will be going in to the hospital at 7.30 tomorrow morning to prepare for her C-section and the birth of my one, two, three, four, fifth grandchild, uh, Matthew Ryan, should be in this world um, mid-morning. So we're very excited about that. I just wanted to come in here today uh, to catch you up on a few things. Um, I got another update on uh, Marty. In fact, I spoke to Marty yesterday morning from rehab, from the rehab hospital. He called me because I had left a message on his phone because at the beginning of the week, or last weekend, I was having a little trouble reaching Barbara. So I left a message on all the phones I could think of. And uh, I thought maybe somebody had taken his phone home and, you know, was maybe answering mes messages off of his phone. But lo and behold, no, they left it in the room with him. So he was catching up before he had breakfast on his messages. And I was one of his messages. He sounds... Just like himself, to me. He, we had a nice conversation, probably 20 minutes or so. Um, he, sound, he sounds just like himself. And I say that with trepidation because um, we talked about him coming to visit us in Florida when we move. And he said, sure, when I, when I get a new bike. And I said, I hope you're kidding about that. And he said, no. But I'll let, you know, I'm not. <laughs> it scares the heck out of me. I said, did you really think this over good, Marty? And uh, he said, well, I'm not going to let somebody else stop me from doing what I like to do. I said, I know, but you've already had two accidents. And... Um, I said, this one was, I said, serious, you were very, 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 very lucky. And he says, I know. But I guess that's a discussion for Barbara and Marty. So I'm, I'm not going to say anything. He knows how I feel, because I told him, I said, not everybody has nine lives. I said, you've, you've escaped twice from accidents. I said, you know. If I was you, I wouldn't push my luck. You know me. I'm going to say what I'm thinking, and that's what I was thinking at the time. But, um, again, all I can do is hope, pray, and, uh, you know, watch and see what happens. As long as they come visit me, I don't, well, I do care how they come, but as long as they come visit me and we, you know, we can go over to Daytona. We're not that far away from Daytona. Um, oh, and by the way, I've been giving everybody the wrong idea. I had the wrong idea of where Ocala was. I thought it was north of uh, Lady Lake and the Villages. Actually, it is, well, it's a little bit north, but not much west of the Villages. Just a little bit north, not, not, not too much. So we're a little further away from, like, Daytona, and we're a little bit further away from Orlando. But not that much. So that's where we stand now. And all of the house. The paperwork and everything is going fine with the house down there. Uh, I did sign a contract for the house up here to go with a realtor. Now I'm just trying to get everything organized so I can have somebody come in and help me get it 
show ready. Uh, and, and, and that means cleaning because, first of all, we weren't planning to put our house on the market. So um, it probably wasn't as neat as it could be right now. You know, like when people know they're going to be moving, most people get everything prepared and then move, you know, find a place after they're prepared. So I'm doing everything backwards. And um, I found a cleaning lady that will come in and spiff up the bathrooms and the floors and the windows and the baseboards and all the things I haven't been doing. So um, she'll be coming. Actually, she's coming on Monday sometime to start. This is going to be a project, so we're, I'm having her start in our master bathroom and the other bathroom, and um, then we'll see how long she's been here, how much she's done. Actually, it's a husband and wife team, so we'll we'll just see what they can get done and have them back as we get things more organized and more things out of the house that I know I'm not going to keep, so there's less stuff to move when... She has to clean, and there's less stuff for us to move, too, because that's a hard decision, knowing what you're actually going to take with you and what you're not. So, uh, and that's still just stuff up for grabs all the time. I'm not, I haven't made any real final decisions. Um, let's see. So that's a project. The house should be on the market well, it should be in the book by tomorrow or Tuesday, and then we'll see. The sign's already up front. I got a lockbox on my door. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Keep us in your prayers for that, please, because we really would like to get that house sold soon. Real soon. Sooner the better. I'm missing Florida already. Anyway, that's another story. Um, let's see what else I wanted to catch you up on. Actually, that probably was the whole thing. As you can probably tell, I am stressed out. And that's why this video is going to be a little mishmash because I'm not really thinking that clearly. I it's getting confusing. I mean, I've got people calling me from Florida. I've got people calling me from here with the realty, with the people I'm trying to line up, with everything we're trying to get done. And I'm an old lady. I, I, ne I never had thought I was going to move again. And it was traumatic 10 years ago when I was in my 50s. So now it's even more traumatic. Oh, <laughs> you know what I figured? I figured, you know, I'd be in this house and we could do what we wanted to in here. And then my kids, when we were gone, could have fun going through everything. I didn't really want to have to go through everything again. Because <laughs> some of the boxes are still unopened that I moved down here with. But I shouldn't tell you that because that's not a good thing. So, <laughs> so... I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I think they'll probably move with us. And then when I have time in Florida to go through my boxes, obviously 10 years in Georgia wasn't enough. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. It's, it's kind of mind-boggling right now. Well, I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Uh, as I say, it's exciting for us. we got that new baby coming tomorrow. Prayers appreciated for for that because my daughter-in-law did have problems with my son's first child so, eight years ago. But hopefully they, they're they aware of, you know, what the problem is now and uh, they're going to be prepared to correct it should it happen again. So that is all good news. And we're looking for that we're going to, you know, I love these modern conveniences because I can't be in New York for the birth, but 
I'll get to see the baby right away because we're either going to FaceTime or Skype. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, if I haven't been good at making videos, I'll get better. It's just a very, very, very busy time here. Uh, it's not that I'm not thinking of all of you. It's that I'm thinking of too much stuff and I just... YouTube is just one more thing that, you know, I want to do, but it takes me away from doing the things that I have to do. So, although it's a good, it's a good excuse to do something else and get my mind off it. Um, I really need to be able to take things a little easier and not get so upset with everything, but when I get nervous, that's what happens. I get, I get upset. I get short. I get, I get grouchy. Just ask Charlie. He was ready to move in with my daughter till this was over because, at times, I get to be a basket case, and then I sit down, take a few breaths, and I'm better for a little while, and then things start swirling around in this little mind of mine, and I'm back on the same track. Okay, I'm not going to bore you anymore with any of that. Uh, we we will be doing another video today, Charlie and I. He said, she said, but it's going to be about our vacation and maybe seeing where we're going to live. We might, you know, because that all happened on vacation. But it will be what it will be, and it will be up later, 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 because we haven't done it yet. Okay. Peace, hugs, love, good health. I love you all. Thank you, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers for watching. I still don't believe people actually watch me. It's amazing to me. Anyway... <laughs> I love you. I will see you very soon. God bless. Whoop. I have trouble with this. Here we go. Off. See ya.